everyone, my name is Savannah and it's time for our very first screenshot reveal for the new tropical pack coming to Planet Zoo on April 4th. The new screenshot was just released this morning, but I thought we would take a look at the original screenshot released with the announcement trailer. This one was on the Steam page for Planet Zoo. And in this picture, we can see lots and lots of Lar Gibbons. We obviously have the two sitting in the foreground, and then we have five more in the background. And with this picture, I actually see what looks to be three different colorations for these guys. We obviously have the very blonde fur coloration. Just to the right of the blonde one in the foreground, is kind of a brown colored and then in the background is a much darker black colored gibbon so obviously we're going to get some color variations with the lar gibbon which is great to see always love it i do always wonder if we're going to get a melanistic an albino leucistic something like that because to me these all just look like different color variations of the lar gibbon other than that, in this screenshot, not too much to take apart or break down. I did go over all the new scenery pieces that I kind of spotted in the announcement trailer. That is in the trailer breakdown video on the channel if you're interested in taking a look. But for now, let's just go ahead and jump over to the screenshot that was revealed this morning. And that is this one of a Lar Gibbon sitting on a rock calling. Planet Zoo introduced the group calling behavior a little while ago, and the Siamang is another animal that participates in this. So it's no surprise that the Lar Gibbon will also participate in group calls. So I'm excited to hear that. I also forgot to mention that in that first screenshot, we did see the Lar Gibbons swinging through the forest on those vines a locomotion known as brachiation, something also introduced when Planet Zoo introduced the Siamang. And that basically just means arm swinging. It's a locomotion used by some primates, but most well known are the gibbons, where they move very quickly through the forest using their really long arms and swinging from hand to hand. So we can only assume that the Lar Gibbon is going to use those brachiation structures that were introduced with the Siamang, the metal structures that they can kind of climb on and swing from. So we can only assume that they're going to use those as well. While we're taking a look at this screenshot, let's go ahead and talk about these guys a little bit. So the Lar Gibbon is actually also known as the White Handed Gibbon. And I'm wondering if the white-handed gibbon is also just the more common name that these guys are known by. Because when I searched Lar Gibbon to look up information on them, white-handed gibbon is the title on many of the different articles that I'm reading for these guys. So this information is coming from National Geographic. White-handed gibbons or Lar gibbons are small tailless apes with soft, thick fur. They live up high in trees and like to stay high up in the canopies. Their very long arms allow them to swing effortlessly among the tree branches. They can also change direction in a split second and can even catch birds in mid-air and eat them after landing. White-handed gibbons or lar gibbons are among the fastest of all primates. They are so fast that they barely touch a branch before swinging off and grabbing the next branch. They can, quote unquote, fly like this up to 40 feet through the air and leap long distances before landing. They can cross rivers or large openings in the forest with this acrobatic technique. Given sometimes have accidental falls, however, if a branch breaks or they lose their grip, and sometimes do suffer from bone fractures in the wild. They sleep sitting up in the trees with bent knees and faces buried between their knees and chest. Gibbons are bipedal and walk across the tree limbs with two feet. They hold their arms high in the air for balance when they walk and run along the ground or on branches. White-handed gibbons have white fur on the upper sides of their hands and feet. They live in small family groups made up of male and female pairs and their young. They sing duets with the male and the female complementing each other's parts. These duets help the couples bond and mark their territory. The white-handed gibbon is sometimes hunted for its meat, 
and young gibbons are sold in the pet trade in some countries, particularly in Thailand. Many are white at birth and do not develop their final color until about two to four years old. Now, the coloration is something that I wanted to talk about very briefly. In the trailer analysis video, I mentioned that I wasn't quite sure if we were seeing different colorations or if we were seeing um, special morphs of the Lar Gibbon in that we had a blonde one and a darker colored one. And somebody in my comment section said that that was their sexual dimorphism, meaning that males were one color and females were another. In looking that up for specifically the Lar Gibbon, I can't find anything that backs that up. And maybe I just didn't look hard enough or didn't look in the correct places, but everything I read said that these guys can be anywhere from a shade of blonde and tan to brown to deep black in color. But they all have that really characteristic white ring of fur around their faces and white fur on the tops of their hand and feet. So if you know more or if you have just another interesting Lar Gibbon fact, let me know down in the comment section below because I would be really interested to hear more about that. And I just can't wait to see what color variations we get in the game, if any additional to what we saw in that first screenshot. Other than this new screenshot just being a beautiful screenshot with the lighting, the backlit on the fur of the gibbon, Frontier has continued to one-up themselves with fur texture and coloration and design of these animals, and I'm very impressed, as always, really, how good these actually look. I cannot wait to see them in-game moving around and how the fur actually looks up close, but so far from just the screenshots, Planet Zoo is fantastic at creating their animals very lifelike. But other than that, I really don't see too much else that's brand new in this screenshot. So that's about it. That's all I have. Let me know if you're excited for the Lar Gibbon. And if you made it this far, if you're excited, all that kind of fun stuff, leave a like, leave a comment. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. You can follow me on any of my other social media pages. All those links are down in the description below, including the link to our Discord and my Etsy shop if you're interested in supporting the channel a little bit. I will be back with more updates, I'm sure, very, very soon as I'll be covering each additional screenshot that Planet Zoo releases up until launch day of the Tropical Pack on April 4th. But until then, thank you so much for watching and I will talk at you in the next video. Bye.